What's going on everybody? Truck and Rob coming at you here. Got a good video for you this time. Something important. Something to help you guys be successful out here. Because that's what we're all about, right? We want to be successful. Right? Okay. <laughs> Alright. So if you guys noticed the title, you clicked on the video here, we're going to talk about cheap freight. What is cheap freight? What do you consider cheap freight? Do you know how to figure it out? Do you know exactly the true definition of cheap freight for you? Not for the guy next to you, for the guy over here, for you. Do you know what your cheap freight is? Where do you draw the line? What is the cheapest load that you can haul and still make a little bit of money and live to see tomorrow? Live to truck another day, right? <laughs> well, we're gonna do that. Um, I got a buddy that uh, we've been talking back and forth and I uh, kind of helped him uh, I'm helping him out and uh, helping him to figure out his numbers right, I'm not going to mention his name we'll keep that private because these are some personal numbers here um, but we'll use his numbers for example and uh, I got everything written down here I uh, got it all scribbled out it's not that hard to do guys look one sheet of paper you can pretty much figure this out okay it's not that hard to figure out where you stand and what you need to be making out here all right um, so the first thing that we needed to do was to figure out what your expenses are what what are your expenses all right uh, get with your wife uh, girlfriend boyfriend whatever okay or if you do it if you handle all your bills on your own great sit down with your bills at your at home I'm talking at home let's start at home all right because every expense is an expense you've got your business expense and your personal expenses right I mean we got to pay bills we're out here to make money and we got bills to pay all right everybody's bills are different okay your numbers will be different than this I guarantee it um, but this will be a great guide to help you all right I'm not going to go into detail of itemized things that we went over uh, but basically your house payment uh, apartment rent whatever you're paying to put a roof over your head or, or mama's head or your kid's head all right um, the house payment um, renters insurance homeowners insurance electric bill water bill cable bill TV bill um, credit cards um, car payment car insurance fuel for the cars um, the list is long guys but make sure you're very thorough on this all right cell phone bills internet bills um, I mean, I could go on. I could go on. You guys, under, you guys get it. Every damn thing, everything, everything. All right, every subscription, Netflix, Hulu. Uh, I don't care, whatever. Babysitter. Uh, you got a storage unit down the road. It's got all your crap in it. Everything, everything. All right. Now, some expenses uh, go up and down. Say uh, your electric bill, uh, your water bill, certain things of that nature that kind of go up and down through the year. All right summertime winter time your, your electric bill is going to be different or your gas bill uh, whatever you got okay average them together go through the last 12 months or or kind of uh, uh, try to figure it out okay go through the last 12 months add up all your numbers for your electric bill and divide it by 12 that's how you're going to get the average we want to break everything down to the month okay we want your personal expenses in a month that's how I do it okay other guys might do it by the year by the week all right this is how I do it and it works for me all right so a lot of other guys I know do it they break it down by the month all right now I know we haul loads by the day and by the we get paid every week but kind of to average everything together to let you know where you need to be you got to zoom out a little bit you got to zoom out and look at the big picture of where you're at and that's in a monthly scale all right, it's easy to break things down into a monthly scale. So we've got your personal expenses, your home expenses, okay? Take the time, write it down, okay? Take the time to do this, write it down, average everything out through the year to where you can get it into a monthly, uh, a monthly amount, okay? All right, so we did that. We got everything averaged out down to a monthly bill, $3,800. I think it was uh, it was like thirty seven eighty four or something like that. We rounded up, call it thirty eight hundred bucks. We like we like uh, nice easy numbers out here, right? Thirty eight hundred bucks is his personal 
home expenses, not the truck, not the fuel, not nothing. We're not talking about the truck, just at the house, okay? If you don't have any bills or you only got a cell phone bill, right on. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Hang on. Still do it, even if you just have a cell phone bill. Write it down. Okay, now we're going to move on over to the truck. So most of you guys get a, a weekly uh, uh, settlement thing uh, in an email or message, whatever, where it breaks down your weekly pay, okay, and your weekly expenses, your truck payment. Now, this will be for you owner ops, uh, uh, lease ops, uh, lease purchase, guys thinking about getting into a lease, okay. This is important stuff, all right. A lot of guys don't really know how to figure this out or they don't take the time. They don't take the time to do it. But anyway, um, so you take all of your fixed expenses on your truck, your truck payment, your insurance, if the sticker, uh, license plates, um, any kind of permits, anything that's a fixed expense, it does not change. All right. Add it up to a month. All right. Every week. All right. Now the way to get everything to a week or a monthly number is you multiply it by 4.3. There are 4.3 weeks in every month. That's an average, okay? 4.3 is the number to use. Don't use four, don't just say, oh, there's four weeks in, the, in a month. Some months are longer than others. Some months are shorter than others, right? 4.3, magic number, times 4.3. So whatever your weekly fixed expenses are on the truck, times that by 4.3. That'll give you an average for your monthly expenses, right? Okay, so uh, let me back up a little bit. Uh, the numbers that we're gonna use as far as mileage will be about 2,500 miles a week. Can we all agree that that's, about, that's a pretty decent average on what we run out here? Some weeks you run more, some weeks you run less. Uh, we're talking about a solo situation, just a solo truck driver and just the truck. No trailer, no nothing. We're leased on. We're doing power only, power only type situation. We don't, we're not in control of the trailer out back. That's a company trailer out back. Okay. That's what we're going to use for an example. If you've got a trailer, <laughs> multiple trucks, multiple trailers, hopefully you already know how to do this. But if you're just getting started in it, you're thinking about getting a trailer, it's an extra expense. Add it in. All right. But for this example here, there's no trailer, just the truck just the truck on this list. 2,500 miles a week times 4.3 gives us 10,500 miles a month on average. Okay. All right. So back to the point here, our monthly fixed expenses are 3,800. Uh, fuel is our biggest expense out here. All right. You guys always hear that fuel is, is our number one expense you do the math on it you're going to find out that it's true all right fuel the truck was and insurance and everything is only 3800 fuel uh we're saying his truck gets on average six and a half miles per gallon on paper at two dollars and fifty gallon two hundred two dollars and fifty cents a gallon right right here right now uh this day and time it's uh february 4th 2017 the average price of fuel is about 250 a gallon. There you go. That's what you're going to use, average. Whatever, whenever you're watching this video, what's the fuel average? What's the national fuel average? Okay. It's out there. There's information out there, guys. So, 6 and a half miles per gallon. Some trucks get worse, some trucks get better. Do the math. That's why I kept I keep saying that these numbers aren't going to be exact for you. Your numbers will be different. All right. Anyway, six and a half miles per gallon at two dollars and fifty cents a gallon comes out to four thousand one hundred and thirty four dollars for the month on ten thousand five hundred miles. Right. Forty one hundred just for fuel. It's a lot. OK, now moving on down maintenance and repairs. All right. We know that the truck needs maintenance, oil changes, shocks. Uh, grease jobs, air filters, fuel filters, the whole deal, maintenance, all right? 
we know kind of know how to budget that you know your truck has a maintenance schedule every 30,000 every 50,000 depending on what your maintenance schedule is you can kind of budget for that however what we're adding in is repairs breakdowns problems when stuff goes wrong all right if you don't set this money aside you're not going to last very long out here okay um, even a new truck will break down not everything is covered under warranty not everything okay now as you get into these older trucks the warranty starts to dive off you know you might be looking at getting into a truck that's got 500,000 miles on it already the warranty is probably over unless it's got an extended warranty that's a special case but you still you need to plan for this all right this is where a lot of guys fail out here they, they just they set their their minimum so low and they don't set aside the money for maintenance very very important how many of you guys know or have heard the horror stories of people uh, drivers that are, are in the shop their transmission went out uh, God forbid the, the motor blew up the turbo went out something big a big problem all right two thousand three thousand six thousand eight thousand ten thousand dollars plus plus that's i mean that's not uncommon out here you guys know these shops are damn expensive parts are expensive wrecker bill to get uh to come in on the tow truck get the hook that's money man uh usually four or five hundred bucks just for them to show up and then about three or four bucks a mile for them to pull you to the damn shop do the math on that it gets expensive and if you don't set the money aside you're going to be screwed you're going to go belly up and then you're going to be out you're going to be out but that's where i want to see you guys be successful set this money aside this is a big number that i'm going to put out at you here maintenance and repairs i have found throughout my research talking to a lot of people out here and myself about 25 cents per mile will keep you going okay to some people it's high to some people that's a low number all right what are we doing here we're averaging right we're averaging 25 cents a mile I found that to be a pretty decent number um, it will work for uh, if you're just getting started in a few weeks you'll have pretty decent amount or in, in a few months remember we're doing months I have to keep checking on that myself we're breaking everything down to the month um, 2,000 uh, on 10,500 miles a month at 25 cents a mile you're looking at two thousand six hundred eighty seven dollars it's a lot of money to think about it on a monthly scale of setting aside 2600 bucks for maintenance you know even if the truck didn't have it didn't break the trucks good it's all good man all I did was an oil change for 300 bucks at the TA well what happens next month when the transmission drops out the bottom and you're looking at three grand at least I mean now what if you didn't put the money aside you're screwed all right that's what we're doing here all right we're setting you up for success I'm setting you up for success by taking the time here and going through this with you 2687 again 20 25 cents a mile again to some that is high to some that is low all right but we're averaging all right, if you can afford to put more by all means put more all right but 25 cents a mile that's the number we're working with um, tires you know this thing's gonna be need tires right eventually right might, might get 200,000 uh, you might have a blowout you might have uh, uh, need a repair something like that but get we'll get one plug you, you picked up a nail and you got to go have it plugged it's money man where's it gonna come from where where's the money coming from three cents a mile on that guys three cents a mile it works out to be perfect it really does and again we're talking just the truck if you've got a trailer add a couple more cents maybe five cents a mile okay because you're not buying steer tires or if you guys getting into multi-axle trucks uh, y'all hopefully y'all know how to do this already and budget your money you know but for just a standard three axle trailer or three axle truck about three cents a mile do you perfect okay two cents a mile you come up a little bit short if you have any problems 
okay? If you have a blowout and you need to replace a tire uh, prematurely, and then later on you got to replace all of them, you're going to come up a little bit short. So three cents a mile. Three cents a mile is the magic number for tires, okay? Three cents a mile. On top, on top of that 25 cents a mile for just regular maintenance and breakdowns, okay? On top, this is separate, an extra three cents a mile. So I broke it up, all right? So anyway, back to the list here. Uh, the tires at three cents a mile on 10,500 miles is $322 a month, all right? $322 a month set aside for tires. Comes to a grand total of $10,943. We'll round up, right? We like even numbers. 11 grand. 11 grand just for the truck to operate, to, to successfully, keyword successfully, operate one of these trucks. Okay? To not really be worried about it. Not be stressed out. If you're doing this, you got money in the bank for repairs and breakdowns, okay? S successful. Keyword successful here. Can you put less? Do you have to? Well, Rob, do I have to put 2600 bucks a month in my maintenance account? No, you don't. No, if you don't want to, don't do it. But six, eight months, a, a year, when, when you're in the shop looking at a, a $12,000 repair bill with the tow bill and everything, What's going to happen? What's going to happen? You know, if you didn't put the money aside, it's your own fault. You know, and we're getting we're getting on down here. All right. So we got eleven grand just for the truck. We got thirty eight hundred coming at, at out of the house for this for this example here. Again, yours might be different. I have to keep repeating myself on this because your your guys' numbers will be different. Thirty eight hundred from the house, eleven hundred for the truck. All right. <clears throat> There we go. So we are at $14,800. Wow. That's a whole lot of money. Shit. $14,800, 15 grand a month to, drive, to be a lease operator, to be a successful owner operator. That costs 15 grand a month successfully and to be comfortable with it. Yeah. To have a good time out here, to rip roar up the highway, haul ass, and have fun out here, fifteen grand a month for this particular, for these numbers. All right, if you got a house and wife and kids at home, bills, yeah, fifteen grand. So we're at fourteen eight hundred. All right, now we got to pay taxes, right? Fourteen eight hundred. That's the minimum. That's our minimum numbers. All right. Now if we take taxes out of that. Now, all of a sudden, we're, we're falling short, right? We're not putting money into maintenance. We're having to juggle our bills at home, all right? It, come tax time. Everybody sweats on, on tax time. Oh, shh. I don't have the money, man. I, I didn't put it aside. I, I didn't put the money aside. Put it aside. I understand things are struggling, and this is, uh, this is a perfect scenario, all right? This is what should be, all right? But taxes always get everybody. Come tax time everybody starts sweating man because they didn't put the money aside but if you plan ahead and put your money aside in a perfect world all right this video here this is a perfect world these are perfect numbers okay but it's a guide all right it's a guide we're at fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars if we pay taxes on that we're 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 down our numbers are down right so we've got to figure out what we need to set aside for taxes right now I'm not a tax person, I'm not a CPA, uh, don't take my word for this, but I've worked out some numbers because I've been doing this a while, and about 11%, do not use 11% for your situation. Talk to, talk to your tax guy, lady, whatever, and find out exactly what kind of numbers that you're going to need for your situation. 11% works for this, works for these numbers here, 11%. Um, if we take that now the way to break down taxes to where it works is uh, okay so we know that we need to make 14,800 right we divide that that's a month 14,800 a month that's what we need we divide that by 4.3 weeks right 
that gives us a uh, weekly, every week, we need $3,441. So really that's what, that's what your paycheck's going to be. Now I know it's a, it's a perfect, this perfect world, right? So $3,400 paycheck every week. Um, if you take 11% of that, that's going to be $378 a week. All right. And then you time that times that 378 back by 4.3 to get it back up to a month is $1,628. All right. It's the way it works with percentage. Okay. Um, if you were to take the whole chunk, your monthly expense, because say you're working as a company driver and you're getting a W-2 or whatever, they're taking taxes out every week. Okay. Um, if you take percentage out of a smaller chunk, it's less, right? If, if you take, I'm trying to have, figure out how to explain this, but uh, if you take percentage out of a smaller chunk, it's going to be less than out of a bigger chunk, right? Okay. Uh, hopefully that makes any sense. Uh, I'm kind of having a struggle for words on how to explain that. But so you take the six, the 14.8 times that by, or uh, divide it by 4.3 to break it down into a week. You've got your weekly paycheck basically. And then you, uh, that's when you take your 11% out of your weekly. All right. And then you get that weekly number and then times it by 4.3 to get your monthly. All right, so we're at 16.28 a month for taxes. All right, we're back, we're back rolling again. 16.28 set aside for taxes. Hey, yours might be more, it might be less. I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. That's for your tax lady. All right, so we mash all these numbers together. We got our fixed expenses on the truck. We got our expenses at the house. We figured out what Uncle Sam's going to take from us, right, ahead of time. So we can add that into our number, all right? So we have come up with a grand total of $16,428, grand total. That's what we need. That's what we need out here, okay? That's what we need, 16,428. That's what this one needs. I'm not gonna say that's what we need. I take that back. That's what this guy needs. This guy's numbers, need. he needs to make $16,428 a month in order to be comfortable. All right, keyword is comfortable. There's not really any room for growth. There's not room to save up and maybe buy another truck. There's not really a whole lot of room to take a vacation, to go on a honeymoon, to buy a big ass TV, to buy good things, to buy your wife diamond rings, um, all that extra stuff. These are just bills. And his home expenses, not one of them, not, nothing on the list said diamond ring or TV or a uh, cruise to the Bahamas. No, it wasn't on the list. This is just to be comfortable, to pay your, pay your bills and to keep operating the truck. Okay. 16,428. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. How do we get that much money? We don't haul cheap freight. That's how you get that money. How do you figure out which bottom line is? All right, well, we've got our number here. We've got 16,428. That's what we need to make a month, right? And we're running 10,500 miles a month. All right. Mash those numbers around 16,428 divided by 10,500 miles gives you a dollar 56. You need to make a dollar fifty six a mile this this guy needs to make a dollar fifty six a mile if he hauls on a monthly average remember this is all monthly if his monthly average is below a dollar fifty six a mile we're cutting we're cutting somewhere we're not gonna have money for taxes we're not gonna have maintenance we're, we're having to cut the cut the cable off. We're having to cut the the direct TV off, cut the internet off. You're doing something. You got to cut, all right, at a dollar fifty six a mile. That is your comfort zone. Okay, that is to maintain the lifestyle that you live right now. Okay, 
And again, your numbers will be different. This is this. This is this guy's. A dollar fifty-six a mile is what he needs to make on ten thousand five hundred miles a month. It's that simple. Okay. You start hauling freight for cheaper. Now you can take some cheaper loads. All right. You can take a dollar twenty mile a load, but then your next one or or your average, your average at the end of the month needs to be a dollar fifty-six minimum, absolute minimum, and that's to sustain life as you know it period okay and to be able to cover some expenses on the truck when something breaks you got a flat tire you need you got the money all right you got the money at a dollar 56 a mile you start hauling for a dollar two a dollar three 99 cent a mile back to back to back to back consistently hauling cheap freight you all know what's going to happen you're going to go belly up all right now everybody is always talking about rate per mile. I've been barking rate per mile here, all right? Rate per mile, rate per mile, rate per mile. That's great. As long as you average it together, you know, you can't fight every load, load by load. Well, uh, you have you have to, I take that back. You have to fight every load. Um, but sometimes, look, I'm out here trucking too, okay? Been out here 10 years, I get it, all right? You ain't gonna hit two, three dollars a mile on every single load. Sometimes you're going to have to take one in the shorts to get the hell out of a bad area and and hopefully you'll make it up, all right? If you know the rates and lanes out here, you'll know where to head. You'll know to take a load going to wherever, all right? Because you know they're paying good to make up for the bad load, all right? It's where the experience comes in. It's where talking to somebody that, that has experience. Hey, man, uh, talk to somebody. Ask them, hey, I've, I've got these two loads that they're offering me, which one would you take? If you don't know, ask, ask somebody or ask your driver manager, ask somebody, all right? That's what they're there for. Your driver manager is your business partner, okay? You guys should be able to make decisions like this together without back and forth arguing, okay? Or being scared of him. Don't be scared of him, he's your, he's your business partner, all right? All right, so anyway, everybody's always barking rate per mile. There's another piece of the puzzle to being successful. A big piece of the puzzle daily expenses all right you can get a load that pays four dollars a mile hell we only need a dollar fifty six right to be comfortable well you can get a, a load that pays four dollars a mile but if you got to sit on it for two or three days all of a sudden it's not a good load all right you got your daily expenses back to our list here we know that we need $16,428 a month to sustain life as we know it, all right? Nothing extra. We ain't going on vacation. I ain't going to go back into that. $16,428 is what we need, all right? Now, you Google, do whatever, do your research. Um, if you're getting home on weekends, home every weekend, something like that, I did the research here. There is 21 days on average, actually 21.5 days in a month on average of of working days meaning monday through friday okay if you only work monday through friday if you go home every weekend you're on the 21 day schedule all right 16 428 divided by 21 790 dollars a day is what you need to be making to equal this dollar 56 there's two different sides of this okay $790 a day, Monday through Friday, is what you need to be making, or what, what this guy, keeps saying you, what this guy needs to be making, all right? $790 a day is what this guy needs to be making. Now, if he's over the road, uh, he doesn't care about going home, he's just out, he's out driving truck, great. 30 days, average. 30 days is the average days of a month and a year, okay? $553 a day, Sunday through Sunday. You're out all week, okay? Knocks it down to $553 a day. Very, very, very important, all right? Rate per mile, rate per mile, rate per mile. It's all we ever hear is rate per mile, rate per mile, rate per mile, right? That's only half of it. It's only half of it. Your daily expenses will kill you. If you're not meeting these numbers, whatever number you figure out, 
21 days or 30 days, however long you stay out, okay? If you're not meeting those numbers every day, every week, every month, what's going to happen? You're going to come up short, okay? Some days you'll get a you'll get $1,000 a day. Some days you'll get $600 a day. We're working on average, okay? We're working on average. So this is what cheap freight is, guys. For this guy right here, it's $1.56, okay? Anything below $1.56, he's losing. He's not moving forward. He's just sustaining life. He's being, he's being mediocre. He's not growing. He can't buy another truck. He can't do nothing. He can just keep on, keep on doing what he's doing. If you're okay with that, then that's fine. But I mean, I want to grow. I want to get a trailer. I want to save up for a trailer. Uh, hell, I might add another truck. Once I pay this truck off and get the title, I might want to add another one and then another, put a trailer behind that one. That's how it's done. All right. That's how it's done. Can you do it at exactly $1.56? Can this guy do it at exactly $1.56? No, he can't. There's no room to grow, all right? That is his minimum to sustain life as he knows it, all right? So you got your rate per mile, broke it down for you, all that stuff. I'm not even gonna do a recap. Y'all can, can rewind and figure the breakdown out, but you've got your rate per mile and your daily expenses. If you don't meet either or both of those, belly up, man, belly up. Be successful out here, guys. That's what this video is about. Um, ask somebody, okay? Ask somebody to help you with this, okay? It's pretty simple. It's basic math. I did all these numbers on my phone, adding, subtracting, and dividing, okay? There's no algebra, there's no calculus, there's no trying to figure out the cosine of data on these damn numbers. It's adding, subtracting, averaging together basic elementary math. It really is. It's just money. It's just money, man. And uh, you guys make sure you get yours, all right? I want to see you guys grow. I want to see everybody be successful. Buy a truck, buy a trailer. This is how you're going to do it. That is the definition of cheap freight. When you fall below those numbers, that's... Now, for some of the people that have low expenses, you got a paid off truck, paid off trailer, all that sort of stuff, got very low bills, very low expenses, does that mean that you can haul for cheaper? You can haul for about a dollar a mile, 99 cents a mile? No. You cannot because now you've got an old truck probably got a whole bunch of miles on it who knows man it might it might crap out on you at any moment all right so you got to set aside a lot more for maintenance and you got to keep the rates up for everybody else for guys like me for guys like everybody else out here that's trying to make a living trying to make a good living and to grow out here all right um, it can get a little complicated and I kind of see this video going into a number two All right to be continued on this. All right. This here. We're getting in. We're over half hour on this. All right, so um, We'll get into that other stuff. No, the answer is no if you have low expenses Can you haul cheap freight? No, please don't for the sake of God, please do not haul cheap freight just because you don't have very high expenses all right we'll get into all that later that'll all get explained out all right so don't do it um you know this is just that that's that cheap freight you know if you fall below that dollar 56 that's the minimum guys that's the minimum that dollar 56 that's the minimum all right i want two dollars i want 250 hell i want three dollars a mile average for a month shoot I want to grow all right what I just did here was just the minimum that's your that's your bottom line that's the absolute bottom line you start hauling for cheaper than that now you're gonna start getting in trouble okay be smart out here guys all right that's all I got for you y'all remember to be the professional set the example help your brothers and sisters out here I'll talk to you later